What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to talk about single line lambda functions in Python, what they are, when to use them, and how to use them. So essentially you've probably seen or heard of lambda functions if you've been programming in Python for a while, but if you've never really taken the time to dive into what they are um, or when you should use them, you can kind of just ignore them because if you haven't gone out of your way to learn about them and you're self-taught, it's not something that comes up super often, but it can do some really useful stuff for you. And so the term for a lambda function is that it's an anonymous function, meaning you're not going through the formal Python steps of define function name, here's the parameters, and I want to be able to call this repeatedly. You're saying I'm going to use this function for a small piece of code that I am only going to use in this one location. And so uh, let's take a look at just some of the basic times you might want to use a lambda function. And so here I have two examples of lambda functions, one that just takes an input variable as a string and returns the uppercase version of that, and the other one that just takes a numerical value and returns the cubed value of that. So in Python, these two stars um, mean raised to the power. And so to talk quickly about the format of it, to call a lambda function, you just say, lambda, the keyword lambda, which is a Greek letter, but rather than using the lambda Greek letter, we just type the word out. And then you say the parameters that you're going to pass in. And so important to note here is that you can pass in multiple parameters to a lambda function. Um, and the thing is you can use all of them in your expression, but a lambda function can only have one expression total. So it's not going to like cube the value, take that value and do something else with it on the next line. It has to be an expression that fits into one line. But you are able to pass in multiple parameters separated by commas just like this. Um, and then you just uh, say what you want the expression to return on the right of these colons. Uh, of this colon. So that is the entire format of how you write a lambda function. And then the way you call this is you could either just print uh, cubed of one number, but let's say you have a list of numbers like I have here, one, two, three, four, and five, or a list of names like Joe, Mike, and Sarah. Well, you could say for every item in my uh, list, I want you to run this little function and I want you to return the value. But so if I were just to run this code um, for the names and the numbers, what we should see when we run it is we get okay, 1, 8, 27, 64, and 25, which if you were to take your calculator and cube every number in numbers, you would get that it's cubed. Um, and so we've set up this simple little function rather than going through the steps of, okay, define cubed as a function that's gonna take some number in, um, x is actually gonna be equal to x to the third power, and then return x. We've basically ex extracted this formal way of defining a function in Python, and we've just sort of uh, put it into one line using this lambda function, and hopefully, the understanding you take out of this video is that you don't need lambda functions instead of traditional Python functions. It's a tool that you, the programmer, have access to that can simplify your code a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this top stuff because um, that was just sort of to introduce the concept of lambda functions. But honestly, those functions, sending a string to uppercase and cubing something, aren't even necessarily something you would want a Python function for. Like that's not the power of a Lambda function. So I want to create a function that actually is going to look like a traditional Python function with a Lambda function inside of it to show you some of the real power of a Lambda function. So in this case, let's say we create the function some power. Um, and the actual first parameter that it takes, n in this case, is the power that we want to return a value to. Um, and then the lambda function is going to take a parameter a, which is the number that we want to raise to the power. And so all I did is I defined some power as a function, and we're going to return some value to some power. But then in my code, I'm going to set up a squared, a cubed, and a quadded variable, which are equal to some power. 
uh, to the second power, the third power, and the fourth power. So here, I'm setting up instances of this function where my n value is two, three, and four. And now I can call squared, cubed, or quadded, and then I'm passing in a value here at the end that is going to be a. So you can think of this as me taking the same function and giving it a different initial parameter, in this case n. And now it, what you'll see when I print out five squared, five cubed, and five quadded, which I have a note here, I looked it up. It's also called super cubed. I'd never heard that terminology, so I'm just saying quadded, like quadrupled. Um, but so if I run this, then what you'll see down here is I get 25, uh, 125 and 625 and if I were to change this from 10 to 15 to, four, to the fourth power you'll see I get these huge numbers um, and so it works better than that even let's say that quadded isn't raised to the fourth it's raised to the eighth um, but I want to do three to the eighth power okay well now I have this super powerful tool where by defining my power function separately whoops control Z there we go Defining my power function separately, I can set up these functions ahead of time where uh, I have a squared cubed quadded function, and then all I have to do down here is pass in the value that I want raised to the power. And I was able to do this with a two line function <laughs> called sum power thanks to an embedded lambda function. So just to recap, because I know we moved kind of quickly, and I know this isn't my usual setup and not quite as organized as some of my videos. I'm traveling. We'll be back to our normal uh, setup next week. But just to recap, a lambda function is an anonymous function where you're defining a simple expression of code in one line, and it essentially can take in any number of parameters, but it has to use one expression for the return value and you want to use it anywhere that this is code that you only need to call in one place in your um, code because as soon as you start needing to call it multiple times uh, inside of different functions then it's time to set it up like a traditional function otherwise you're going to be copying this line of code over and over again but in this case even though the sum power function gets called multiple places the lambda function itself that actually raises some value to some power is only needed in one location so it's a fairly simple Python concept, but it is something where if you're a total beginner, it takes a little bit of time to get familiar with and start looking for opportunities to use it instead of a traditional function. So I hope this was useful. Um, please be sure to keep uh, leaving comments on videos, letting me know what you'd like to see more of. A lot of the recent videos have come from user suggestions, so you never know when your suggestion will be there as well. Thank you for watching. Um, again, we've got some big projects coming up, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date for all the newest stuff on the channel. And as always, good luck with your code, and thanks for watching. Bye.